Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has warned his people about a possible increase in Russian attacks over the Christmas holidays. Zelensky appealed to his people to heed air raid alerts, help one another and look out for one another. He said he had met Ukraine's top military commander to assess the situation. Currently, his government is preparing various scenarios for responding to Russia. As the holiday season approaches, Russian terrorists may increase their activities again, Zelensky said, as reported by Al Jazeera. They, Russia, don't respect Christian values or any value for that matter. The Ukrainian leader also issued an unusually strong warning to Russia. Zelensky also warned that Russian citizens must clearly understand that terror never goes without a response. He did not specify what response Ukraine would give Russia. Before Friday night's speech, Zelensky had warned of a possible Russian attack at Christmas. He warned of the possibility of new missile attacks on Ukraine's infrastructure and energy supply, as reported by the Moscow Times. The Ukrainian side detected the movement of Russian troops in Ukraine, which were preparing to receive reinforcements. The Ukrainian military says Russian naval units are underway in the Black Sea, including warships equipped with cruise missiles. Meanwhile, Ukrainian intelligence said Russia would send reinforcements to the front lines in eastern and southern Ukraine. The enemy has increased the volume of rail transportation of troops, equipment and ammunition to the fighting area. The general staff of Ukrainian intelligence in Kyiv said Friday, The main battle areas were the frontline city neighborhoods of Bakhmut in the east, as well as the settlements of Avdivka, Kapiansk and Lemansk in the Donbass region. Russian army reinforcements were also detected in the south of the country, the general staff said. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky urged his people to stand up to a Russian attack as the country celebrates Christmas. In his speech on Saturday, he said, freedom comes at a high price, but slavery has a much higher price. Russian missile and drone attacks have left millions of Ukrainians without electricity, heating and running water. On Saturday, Russian airstrikes killed 10 people in the southern Ukrainian city of Kherson, the officials said. Local authorities said another 68 people were injured and asked local residents to donate blood immediately. Zelensky described Russia as a terrorist state and accused Russian troops of killing for intimidation and pleasure. In posts on social media, he shows photos of streets filled with corpses and burning cars. The world must see and understand what absolute evil we are fighting, Zelensky said. Kherson, the only regional capital Russia has captured since launching its full-scale invasion on February 24, was liberated by Ukraine last month.